Ladies and gentlemen, come to the stage, the very funny Mr. Mike Baldwin! Hey. What's up, everybody? All right. We'll see how it goes, I guess. I'm on TV. <laughs> that's neat. I'm a fan, so I'm excited about it. I watch TV a lot. That's, that's the thing that I do. I saw a commercial on TV for Pizza Hut, and they were advertising the new extra-large pizza, which is twice as big as a medium, and delicious, obviously, but there was a disclaimer at the bottom, and it says, if you want this product, you must ask for it when ordering. <laughs> yeah. Like, who's the idiot that calls Pizza Hut and goes, send me pizza? What kind? My favorite. <laughs> I'll just wait here. Bye. No, wait. Oh. I don't know if you know what Vonage is. Vonage is the phone company. And on the Vonage commercial, there's a disclaimer at the bottom, and it says that Vonage 911 is different than regular 911. And I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, what could it mean, you know? You're in an emergency, you call 911. Some guy's like, hello? Who are you? Or if it was all automated, if you're on fire, press one. <laughs> if you got shot, press two. I'm freaking out. Like, I'm getting attacked by dingoes. What are the odds that's coming up in the next couple numbers? <laughs> Come on. On the Match.com commercial, they say that if you don't find true love within six months, then they'll give you six months for free. But that's dumb, because like, if it doesn't work in six months, then it's something that probably doesn't work. That's like, hey, eat this rotten pumpkin. If you don't love it, you can have a hundred of them. I don't want any of them. This is my invention, check this out. Um, they should uh, take mustard and ketchup and put it into the same bottle together and then call it must up. And then it gets way funnier, so hold on. Uh, and then I have a commercial on TV where there's a guy and he's sitting there and he's squirting some onto his burger. And then his friend walks in and goes, whoa dude, that's must up. And Then he would hold up the bottle and go, yup. <laughs> you get it though, right? <laughs> it's like a thousand times funnier if you were to like, get it. <laughs> Put relish in it. Dude, that's really must up. Um, I have sisters, um, I don't have any brothers or anything, I have two older sisters, so I have like the girly influence on me, I'm kind of a wuss, like I can braid hair and stuff, like, <laughs> not my hair, I'm just saying, if you, if you wanted your hair braided, I could do that, that's all I'm saying, I can play hopscotch, I know the rules, I'm like, you can't do that, you can't do that, my friends are like, why are we playing hopscotch, I'm like, well, we're not, if you're gonna play like that, I see myself as an adult doing girly stuff all the time. Like when I take a shower, I won't use bar soap. I'll use like body wash and a poofer, right? Like it makes me smell good, I don't care. But I, I bought this body wash and on the bottle it said eye opening body wash. And I was like, that's weird. But I guess it's true. Cause before I took a shower, I was like totally against gay marriage. And then I showered up and I was like, it's probably okay. <laughs> All right, laugh later, I only have five minutes. <laughs> I'm not as dumb as I act, you guys, I promise. Like, I'm dumb, don't get me wrong, but I act dumber than I am because it makes my friends mad and it makes me laugh. My friend was like, hey dude, I gotta go, I'm gonna go meet my dad at the airport. And I was like, you've never met your dad? 
But my friends are dumb too, though. Like, we'll be having a party or something, and like a cop will knock on the door, and there's always that one guy that's like, dude, don't answer it. Cops can't come in unless you say it's okay. I'm like, dude, that's vampires. All right, I gotta go. I'm Mike Baldwin. Thank you guys so much. Mike Baldwin, more time for Mike Baldwin. Yes.